Hello, this is Kirill from forexboat.com and welcome back to the course on setting up your virtual private server for reliable forex trading. In today's tutorial, we will talk about the expert requirements that you need to be aware of if you are planning on using your uh, forex robots on a uh, virtual private server. So the good news is that uh, realistically, there's only one requirement to your expert advisors and that is that it has to be able to pick up its trades upon uh, restart. So let me explain a little bit uh, what that means uh, if we have an expert advisor and it's working uh, with a trade server then it's sending orders and uh, modifying them and closing them then what's happening is that uh, on the left here in the blue box uh, the expert advisor is um, creating orders and possibly uh, keeping track of them say for example two orders number one and two and um, at the same time, these orders exist on the trade server. What will happen if uh, for some reason the expert advisor is uh, restarted? Uh, that could be, for example, somebody took it off the chart or changed the settings or the terminal was rebooted or the whole uh, of the computer where the expert was, advisor is working was rebooted and therefore uh, the terminal was rebooted and the expert advisor was restarted. So what will happen is that um, this part will temporarily disappear, but the orders will actually stay existing on the server. And um, uh, the way we'll set up a virtual private server is that uh, as soon as it's possible, the expert advisor will come back online. And so what uh, the requirement uh, for expert advisors is, uh, the main one, is that um, the expert advisor is able to pick up uh, the orders from the server. And that means that the expert advisor, when it's um, during its work, it always queries the server and... Uh, finds out, uh, finds the trades that it has created and keeps track of them that way. So what we don't want happening is the expert advisor only keeping track of the trades within its code and then when it's rebooted, then it loses these trades and they become rogue trades. We don't want that to happen. And uh, so, so long as the expert advisor always checks uh, what is on the server and based on that information, uh, keeps track of orders, everything will be fine. Usually that is done through uh, in terms of programming, that's done through the order select and the uh, magic number or symbol. So if you see that your expert, even if you don't uh, know programming, but you see that your expert advisor has a magic number, then most uh, likely is fine. Even more so, most expert advisors are already fine, especially the tried and tested ones and the commercial expert advisors. So you don't even have to worry about this requirement. Why I decided to um, mention this um, requirement in uh, this series of tutorials is mostly for people who are programming their own expert advisors. Uh, if if that is your case, then you just need to take this into account that um, you can't just keep track of the order within the expert advisor. You have to constantly query the trade server and see which of your orders already exist there and keep of track of them that way. So that's just uh, something to note. Uh, most likely you don't have to worry about it once again. Uh, but however, if you are programming your own expert advisors and you don't know how to do this or you're not very confident with this, um, then feel free to check out my other course, which is uh, called Algorithmic Training for Success, where um, I go into detail on how that is done in MQL4 and uh, how to uh, properly keep track of your orders, uh, whether they're open or closed ones uh, on the trade server. That's all for today. Uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial. Until then, happy trading.